All right, so I started by modeling in low poly AK47, and I used this reference image that I found online. The trick is basically you just take a default cube, tab into edit mode, and then you can select individual vertices. In this case, I'm selecting multiple vertices at once here in this view, and then you hit E to extrude, R to rotate, G to move, S to scale. Just move things around, get things in place. Oh, also you can select vertices and hit F to connect to vertices that are not connected. You can also do that with faces. And I have a longer video showing this, but um, this is the basic idea. And then I exported it and I tried a couple different export settings, just messing around with the coordinates of which direction is considered up and which direction is considered forward. I also scaled it to 50. I find that that's like a good default scale for P5.js if you're working with the default WebGL mode. So now I have this basic code, which is set up and draw, adding some lights, showing the model. And then I made a camera object to store the camera's position and the pan and tilts. <clears throat> and then here I am just calling the camera function based on and having it look at a point in front of the camera. It's just some basic first person camera stuff. I have other videos on that too. And I've actually since really kind of improved on this, but I did this a while ago. So here you can see me kind of just messing around with some different parameters within the translate function so that I can get the gun to be in the right position. And then I gave it a little bit of wobble and I'm gonna do more of that later. All right, so now here I'm working on cam.theta, which is the pan, trying to get the look left and right using the mouse to work. So I'm saying cam.theta plus equals the current mouse x position minus the previous mouse x position divided by 100. And it's a little bit buggy. And then I eventually noticed that I have some weird code in the translate function for some reason that was zero before when cam theta was zero, but now that it's actually working, it was messing everything up. So then I take that out and it works well. And then that sphere was looking kind of weird. So I scaled it back down. I think it was just too big. It was like too far away from the camera. All right, and then cam.phi, which is the look up and down rotation, implemented that. I think I did it backwards at first, but I eventually figured it out. And then I wanted to do movement and I wanted to use WASD. So I looked up what the W key was because I always forget. And it was 87, plugged in that, and then that works very well. Added a speed parameter. <clears throat> and then I wanted you to be able to go backwards. So I just popped that in and found the S key. And then I wanted to strafe left and right. So I used the A and the D key and then just it's a matter of just plugging in an angle that is 90 degrees to the angles used above. So now you can move forward, backwards, left and right, and you can look around. So then I added some, some like walk shake so that when you're walking, you kind of like look like you're lumbering along a little bit. Um, and then there's a dampening factor. That's what that multiply by 0.9 is just to slow it down. Did the same thing with like a momentum factor. And that's for the, to like create like a delay with the look around. So like it'll kind of feel more realistic. Like if you turn really fast, um, there's some like delay with the rotation and that's due to the, the momentum factor. And then I can also use that momentum, the same momentum with uh, the gun firing, just like, you know, inputting some random values to make it like kind of go crazy. And then I needed to add a bullet so here I'm doing some matrix math, and this is before I like was comfortable with math.js, so I'm still using my old matrix library. Um, at, it's at the bottom of the code, you can see it. And doing some basic collision checks, just checking if it's colliding with the sphere or the ground plane. And if it is, it stops the bullet where it is. There's never more than 100 bullets, so if you fire more than 100, it'll uh, uh, shift the array and just delete the first bullet shot. And so here's a little demo. 
and it's pretty cool. Like I like it. It's definitely not the cleanest right now. I would probably just redo most of this, but I would probably reference some of the variables that I used for like the walking and the, the momentum because I think those work really well. And this is actually pretty fun to just move around and control. So codes in the comments, take a look at that, give it a try. Let me know what you think. Um, feel free to do something with this. And if you do, I'd love to see it. Thanks for watching.